Ned said, Daniel, I don't believe there's an Indian within a hundred miles of this place. Hey everybody, this is Russ from Family Tree Nuts, and I'm at the graveside of Edward Boone, better known as Ned Boone or Neddy Boone. Ned Boone is the brother of Daniel Boone, and actually Daniel and Edward married two sisters, a Martha and Rebecca Brian Boone. We're in modern day Bourbon County, sort of in between Mount Sterling, Paris, and Carlisle, out here in the middle of the country. We're off of a road called Sea Road, right off of Boone Creek, which is named for Ned. By 1779, Daniel Boone had moved his family from Boonesboro to an area called Boone Station, which is in modern day Fayette County, just south of Athens, Kentucky. And it was in that same year that Daniel finally convinced his brother Ned to move into the wilderness of Kentucky. While Daniel had made all of his treks and journeys into Kentucky, his brother Ned had stayed home in the Yadkin Valley of North Carolina. But he was finally convinced to join the rest of the Boones and the new beautiful bluegrass region of Kentucky. It was just a year later, on October the 6th, 1780, exactly 140 years and 11 days from today, that Daniel and Ned had been doing some hunting near Blue Licks and they had their horses loaded down with game and were on their way back to Boone Station. The two brothers stopped along this creek that's right here and Ned said, hey, let's go over there and crack some nuts and relax a little bit. Daniel was very leery and told Ned that this was a perfect place for an ambush and they really didn't like the idea of staying there. It was just a few moments later that Daniel spotted a bear walking into the tree line and decided to give chase. Daniel tracked down the bear, shot the bear, and it was just after that that he heard multiple gunshots and come sprinting to the place where he had left his brother Ned. And to his horror, he saw Shawnee gathering around the body of his brother Ned. Daniel knew that it was much too late to do anything for his brother, and all of a sudden, one of the Shawnees spotted Daniel, and Daniel sprinted into the tree line. The Shawnee gave chase and sent their dog after Daniel. As the dog got closer, Daniel shot the dog and ran further into the cane brushes. He heard the Shawnee proclaim, we have killed Daniel Boone. It was a well-known fact that Daniel and Ned looked very much alike. So that's why the Indians had thought they had killed Daniel Boone himself. The Shawnee were very happy with their prize and decided not to chase Daniel any further into the woods. And that gave Daniel the opportunity to escape. He ran approximately 20 miles back to Boone Station to gather up a party to search after the Indians. The next morning, the party headed out, and when they arrived here, they found the body of Ned, and it had been chewed on by a wildcat. Many stories say that the Shawnee had taken the head of Ned to take it back to their tribes to prove that they had killed the mighty Daniel Boone. What a horrific sight that would have been. The men buried Ned right where he lays today, right along Boone Creek. After they buried Ned, the men decided they would give chase to the Shawnee, and they tracked them all the way to the Ohio River. It was at this point the men became convinced they should probably turn back and look after their families that were at Boone Station. Along the way home, the men hunted for game for the family left behind of Ned Boone, his wife Martha, and their five children. Edward Ned Boone's name is listed on the monument at modern day Boone Station. You can see the area is a very beautiful spot. It sits right along Boone Creek here. You see the road that's here, C Road, where it has a beautiful old stone fence and the beautiful stone fence that goes around his gravesite right here with the wrought iron gate and the historical marker that's just to the right. You see that Edward Boone has his Revolutionary War veteran headstone at this location. Now, before we go, I really want you to think about this for a second. We often read stories about this, how Native Americans killed a settler or killed a pioneer, or a settler killed Native Americans, and we just move on past that. But we really don't think about what this meant to their families at that time. Think about Daniel Boone. He watched his brother murder. He seen the mutilated body of his brother and was forced to bury him. Many people know that Daniel lost multiple family members in the early years of the settlement of Kentucky. 
What did that do for the mental well-being of Daniel? Did he have nightmares? Did he have trouble going on? What was it like for his wife, Martha, and the five children that now had to grow up without their father? These are the things that we don't think about when we read something in the history books, and we really should. The other thing that I often think about when I'm at places like this is, imagine the lives that these people were living. At any moment, they could be attacked by Native Americans or a wild animal and be dead. These pioneers really lived. Every minute could be a life or death situation. And what an amazing stock of people they were. So here we are at the uh, graveside of uh, pioneer hero, Edward Boone. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at familytreenuts.org.